And new at 530, one of the most notorious murderers in Chicago history is half a million dollars richer tonight thanks to a federal court jury. The civil rights judgment goes to James Degorski, one of two men convicted in the 1993 massacre of seven workers at a Palatine Brown's Chicken. But relatives of Degorski's victims told CBS 2's Derek Blakely it feels like a slap in the face. For the families of the victims in the Brown's Chicken murders, the grief never ends. And the massive civil rights award given to convicted killer James Degorski only reopens old wounds. In a phone interview, the daughter of restaurant owners Richard and Lynn Ehenfeldt, who were shot to death along with five employees, called the award disheartening. Knowing what he did and that he stripped the, you know, all rights from my parents and the five other people he murdered, it, it just kind of feels like a slap in the face. Degorski was convicted of the mass murders in 2009, two years after his accomplice, Juan Luna. But following his arrest in 2002, Degorski was allegedly beaten so badly by a Cook County Sheriff's deputy, his facial fractures required surgery and insertion of two metal plates. Degorski sued, and a Chicago federal jury awarded him $451,000. What's the most disheartening thing about this decision to you? Not all of the true facts were allowed to be presented in the trial. The federal jury knew Degorski was a convicted murderer, but they weren't told he had taken seven lives in cold blood. Degorski is now serving a life sentence at Menard State Prison, but he may not receive all the money. The Department of Corrections could seek reimbursement for his upkeep. If sustaining him in prison can be supported somewhat by this jury's decision, I would, I would think that is fair. Relatives of Degorski's victims could also sue to recover part of that award. That's an action the families would probably take as a group. But Dana Sampson told me no decision has been made as yet on whether to take that step. Rosanna, tragedy that still resonates 21 years later. That's right, but it seems unlikely that he's going to end up with too much of that money. Well, it looks like either the Corrections Department or the families may try to take some of that money okay. away. Thank you, Derek.